this is Wraith808 with a short screencast of the Nanny Entry Image Float, which is a tool for screenshot capture. Screenshot capture is something that I've used for several years and sort of started to take for granted being there and hadn't really thought of any enhancements until recently when I was doing a little bit of comparison shopping and um, realized that it would be nice if I'd be able to take the screenshots of the specifications and look at them side by side. Um, that's where the idea for image float came from. Um, quickly realized it could be used for a variety of purposes. Um, basically when you get image float it'll come in a zip file. If you unzip that anywhere you wish and then um, you'll see inside of the archive um, something similar to this it has the executable, the documentation, um, the license to readme. Um, and it also has a portable config folder which has a config file in it. If you copy the config file up to the executable directory it'll be installed portably and won't write anything anywhere um, other than to this directory. Um, if it's not installed portably then it writes this configuration and any log files to your user directory. But once that's set up then you merely set up your um, screenshot capture settings. I'll bring that up. And if you go under basic capturing, post capture options, add a command line here, tick this checkbox. Um, and once you do that and accept, you're all ready to go. So what exactly does it do? Let's minimize this window. And do the shift print screen. I wanted to shop for some styluses for my iPad. So I find this one. And I highlight this area here. Brings up the standard screenshot capter window. Can do anything of course other than discard. Um, save image as. It does some different things within screenshot capture so it won't invoke that um, tool. But any of the other ones um, I'll just save image and hide. It will then once it's done um, bring up a little overlay here. Let's resize it a bit. And I'm going to go into the settings here and make it completely opaque. So now I have this one. And there's a couple of other ones I wanted to check out. So what I could end up doing is just resize this, move it around, put it side by side and see hey, which one would I rather have? Um, another idea that was proposed by someone is to be able to lock the image so that if you wanted to keep this but keep taking screenshots of some of the other things, click that. Now this is locked into place and even if I want to take another screenshot of this particular one, screenshots there, I save it, but image float is still showing the same one. Um, then I can, if I want to start back capturing, uncheck it and everything continues to capture. I just continue on my merry way. Um, can also open other images. It doesn't just have to interface with the screenshot capture application. Um, so if I wanted to open another image, I just click open image, browse to something I wanted to see, and that appears there. Um, also, I showed you the settings a little bit more when I changed the opacity. You can change it so that it closes on when you exit an image. Um, Normally, it leaves a little taskbar notification icon so you don't get that little lag when you first start up. But if you don't want it to sit down there in your taskbar, you can do this anytime you close the image. It'll exit. It's basically exit and close on the menu will do the same things. Um, an enabled image float allows you to disable image float itself while um, continue on going with screenshot capture. So if you didn't want screenshot capture to sort of interface with image float for a while, uncheck that and 
go about your way without having to do the more complicated settings in screenshot capture. Um, so these were the two I was talking about, the close image and exit. If you change that setting, then it automatically exits. And this is Wraith 808 again with a short webcast for image float and application for nanny and tool for screenshot capture. Thank you.